Hey everyone, welcome back. In the last video, we complete the design of our playlist view. It looks great on, I, on the iPhone 4 inch, and we do know that we have a tool to make it look great on other sizes with auto layout, but we will leave that part until the end of this series. So let's spend one minute to analyze what's going on so far. We have this view with some album covers on it, that's the view, the V in our MVC pattern, right? Remember, MVC is model, view, controller. So we have the V, the view. What about the C, the controller? Well, by default, when we created a single view app, Xcode created a view controller.swift for us. This view controller.swift is automatically connected to this playlist view. Let us to be honest to ourselves. ViewController.squiff is the worst name anyone can think of, right? It is too general. Yeah, you can argue that we use that class in um, Inspirus project, but in, in the Inspirus project, we have only one view, the quotes view. In playlist, we will later on have multiple views like this view, this playlist view, then we will have an album view, and then maybe a favorite view. That makes viewcontroller.swift absolutely not a good name for us to use. So I will delete it like this and move it to trash. Now we can create a new view controller for this view by going over to the status bar, file, new file then i can choose coco touch class this selection of coco touch allows me to create a class to be a subclass of one of the class in the coco touch framework um, the coco touch framework in a word is what the what drives all of the ui things in ios okay i don't want to go too deep into those things so then i will type the super class the super class of this class i'm going to create to be ui view controller remember ui view controller is the super class of, of all the generic view controller then i will name this playlist view controller then create i will place it the same place as other files in the playlist the group is playlist so create Okay, so we have a new playlist view controller dot Swift. Let's do some cleaning stuff. I will delete the did receive memory warning because we want to use that. And let's delete the comments. Um, we will use that later on and we can create it our own. So let's go back to the main dot storyboard. Now we have it. We have the playlist view controller dot squiff, but how are we going to connect this view controller to this playlist view? Pay attention over here because although this is quite easy as soon as you get it, but it's incredibly important and we will have to use this all the time. So I will choose this view controller, the playlist view, then over the identity inspector, which is the third icon over the edge over the utilities pane. I will set the custom class, the custom class of this view to be playlist view controller. Let's type playlist view controller. The minute I type playlist auto completion, Xcode will does the rest for me and just press enter. So that's the way we connect a view controller to a view. We'll select that view, go to the identity inspector, and set the custom class to be that view controller we just created. So that's the general idea, the virtually the way we connect our code to the view in storyboard. We will set it by the name of the code. 